Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator, where we have a new update. New update. I am making tons and tons of money with this new update. They've made it so as your store levels up, you get more and more customers. I'm getting over 100 customers a day and making about ten dollars to $11,000 a day. Freaking awesome. The only thing that sucks is we tend to run out of stuff back here really quickly. Basically, the whole idea is... I'm doing two days worth of customers jammed into one day. So we run out of stuff pretty quickly back here. Um, I kind of wish the update had something to do with like, you know, taking boxes in, making the storage area bigger or something like that. But it's still a pretty cool update. So let's go ahead and order some stuff. How are you all doing today? Oh, I'm full. I just had dinner. Loving the series. Thank you very much. Maybe, we'll be, maybe that'll be the next one. I hope so. I really hope so. It's becoming uh, becoming an issue for me personally. Uh, sugar, but, you know, I know he's working hard on it, and I'm sure we will get it sometime soon. Uh, let's just go ahead and get six of those. And then we're looking for red pasta and yogurt. Pasta... Get four of that. Let's get some yogurt. Let's just get six of those. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I've been grinding. I got 22 hours of playtime. Store level 34. Nice, dude. Been working hard. I like it. I like what I'm hearing. Uh, we need wine. Uh, how are we doing here? Yeah. Oh, we need... Okay. We need cleaner. The dark cleaner and the box... Soap stuff. Uh, two of these and two of these. You get some more cleaning stuff. We're not out of anything. I'm trying not to order stuff unless I'm completely out of it. Although, nah, nah. Okay, so let's get wine and blue beer. Blue kegs. Wine and blue kegs. Wine. Let's get four of those and beer. Those. Another two of those. Any even had issues with the with the stalkers placing items on random shelves that they don't belong? I've seen people have that issue, but I have I have not had that issue yet. Knock on wood. Alright, we're getting a dozen eggs and a dozen eggs and poppers. Pop. Eggs. Let's make sure we don't have anything here that needs to go somewhere like this. Okay, that was a healthy sneeze. Hello from Norway. Hello, Norway. What's the update, if I may ask? Um, the update has been... Uh, basically, as your store level goes up, you'll get more and more people. So instead of getting like 55, 56 people a day, I'm now getting over 100. And that's the big thing, honestly. And honestly, I don't remember anything else. That, that was the thing I really, I really cared about. I know there was other things, like some bug fixes and stuff. Um, what else? There was something else. Ah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, you can close registers. See? Registers closed. Next lane, please. Okay, uh, no, I don't want to do this just yet. Eh, we might as well. Let's just start putting stuff away. What's up, Cage? What's up, Mad Max? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave that closed. Let's open. And I will I will stock. Um, I need four stalkers now, too. Like, my stalkers, like, can't keep up. It's hilarious. Like, when the people start coming in, like, I run a day or two, and then everything's bare. So, getting a lot of customers, buying a lot of stuff. Yeah, you got to pay workers now, apparently. So, but the the boost in the boost in customers makes paying workers not you know, I'd, I'd be happy to pay them. The street is my new stockroom expansion. Yeah, he's got. I'm 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 a little. I'm not gonna lie. I got to be straight up with you guys. I'm a little disappointed that we did not get any of the big things, a bigger stockroom, um, the ability to have people bring stuff in off the street into the stockroom. Or the ability to carry more boxes. Stuff like that. But, you know what? That's okay. 
Um, it's still a good update. It's really going to help everyone make more money. Store level is going to matter a lot more now. I don't know if he did anything about the licenses. I might buy some licenses before I... I I'm, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to expand the store until Monday. And the reason is... Oh, hey, 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 I'm walking here. Come on. Anyway, uh, the reason is when I do expand the store, I'm going to need a nice few hour chunk of time, like three to four hours chunk of time, because I'm going to do some major revamping in here, and it's going to take a long, 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 long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up to 50-something thousand, and then if I can get like 80,000, I'll buy a new license. Uh, if I can get 80,000 before I record on Monday, I'll buy a new license. Um, I will be doing the expansion on Monday, and it will be, the video will be up on Tuesday. I think we should be happy we got an update now when it is Easter. Yeah, happy Easter, everybody. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining with the update. I mean, it's a great update. It's just not what everyone was looking for, you know, pretty much. And for me personally, I don't care. I love the game. I'm going to keep playing it, and it's no problem for me. But I'm thinking about the game's health. I want the game to be healthy and being played by a lot of people. I want people to be excited about it. And these are these things I was talking about were really, were really um, wanted, I guess, in this update. Still a great update. So, and I don't think we need to be giving the developer any kind of crap. I'm not. I'm just, just saying. Cage, I think, uh, who is everyone? I don't know. Everyone. A lot of people. A lot of people. There's, like, some key things, like... Um, I spend 99.99999% of my time playing this game, doing what I'm doing right now, bringing boxes into the storeroom. I don't think the developer uh, want, intended for that to be the game. And I think he needs to, you know, put some stuff in there to negate the fact that this is all I do now. I, I, don't, think that's, I don't think that's unfair. I don't think I'm being hard on the developer. Um, just saying. I love the update. I mean, what can I say? I mean, but it's not what a lot of people expected. And uh, I just want people to keep playing the game and be happy with it. Keep watching videos. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of games come out come out of the gate strong, and like the developers either didn't do enough updates, which is not a problem. This uh, this developer has been busting his ass doing updates. I, I can I can see that. But they'll either do the wrong updates or you know whatever, and then the game just falls off a cliff. And then next thing you know, a couple months later, no one plays that game anymore. And I don't want that to happen in this game because I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, let's do potatoes. All right, yeah, let's do five. Oliver Martin, thank you for the super chat. Love the content. Hello from Canada. Well, hello. Uh, man season, thank you for the gift subs. All right, we're going to need red right. color and no share books. Red. Color. No share. Um, the white book. White book. And uh, the pink book. I bet you're enjoying an update making double the money. Layer, layer, bubble, insulation. See, I told you it's the developer. He always does things on Wednesday, not the weekend. Well, today's Friday, isn't it? <laughs> it's not Wednesday. But, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a fun update. It's good. Uh, the money is definitely a lot better. And, um, you know, happy to be playing it. There's so much stuff to get. I don't even know what I want to get first. All right, let's get oil. All right, there's a lot of stuff out there. Let's start putting stuff away. My highest checkout was three hundred and fifty-four twenty-nine. Total income a day was seven thousand before the update. Nice. I do have a question, uh, KJ. Um, I don't know who KJ is, but I'm Cage. Um, maybe because you, maybe because I say my name like KJ48, KJA48. 
Um, if you have your registers with the close signs, are you still paying electricity? Or do you still want to put them in a box? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I don't think I care. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if it's electricity, if it's using electricity, I don't think it, I don't, it probably isn't. But if it is, I'm sure it's minimal amount of electricity. Oh, Pink Hammer, can you do the update for me on, on Discord, please? I totally forgot. Or Miser. Whenever I see Pink Hammer's name, it reminds me that I didn't do the update. Or the, uh, the announcement on Discord. Kodos got it. Thank you, Kodos. You think the Canadian did it? Yeah. That's his name, the Canadian. You'll never be able to order enough to keep up now if you stay open all the time. Oh, those books look very similar. We need bigger storage now. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. That's good. Honestly, the reason I don't want to get any more license because I don't have, like, I don't want to, like, not that I don't have room. I could probably make them fit in here, but we're really starting to, like, um, not have a lot of room to store stuff. Like, I don't want to store, like, two boxes of everything. I'd rather just not buy the license. <laughs> T-Rob, was I, was I making you laugh good, man? That makes me happy. Definitely need to keep a selection of empty boxes before the remodeling begins. Nah, nah. I'm going to just fire my um, stalkers and I'm just going to like go a day or two and just let everything clear out. The hell with it. There's no lasting penalties to having people not finding what they want, so it doesn't really matter. The developer needs to re re um, revamp the stalkers. I don't know. I mean, I don't think they need to be revamped. I just think they just let us tell them to come out and get stuff off the street. I did go over the update in the video. I put a second, um, I always put my first video as um, Supermarket Simulator in case there's an update. And then I, what I do is I, I recorded an episode of um, Sons of the Forest. You guys haven't seen it because it was going to go up today. But it didn't because I, um, I had to do Supermarket Simulator. So the cool thing is like if I do su Supermarket Simulator in the morning and then he comes out with an update, I could do another video and have it out in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, that works out really well. What's up, everybody? How you all doing today? When you do the remodel of the store, I think it's best to keep the book, keep the books and beer and wine all together in the same two racks against the left hand wall. It's gonna be difficult because, like, all my like when I redo the when I do, when I do the revamp, the the lanes are gonna be a lot shorter than they were. So, it, you know, I, I will put the books next to the booze if I can, but. It might, I might not have the room for it, so we'll just have to see. That's why I need, like, a good four to five hours. Like, if I'm going to revamp, I need four or five-hour recording time, which is why I'm waiting till Monday. This weekend is um is not a good time to try and record something that might take me four or five hours. It's just not going to work because i got to go over to uh, family's house for um, dinner on Sunday. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Can you go over there for the folks who, who that get abused at work and miss the video? Um, yeah, it's basically uh, he he made it so like, you know, you only get like mid fifties as far as like your uh, your customers. 
Now he made it so as your store level goes up, you'll get more and more customers. So I'll, I get over 100 customers. So um, I always make like ten, eleven thousand uh, dollars $11,000, you know, if everything goes okay. If I don't run out of stuff, which I am. He basically made it so you can get the same amount of people and money in one day that it used to take two days for you to get. But you're also going through two days worth of stock that you would you would have you, in, in one day that you would have normally taken two days to go through. So you got to really just order all the time and forget about trying to keep up. Like never going to happen. Uh, Patch on said fixed boxes staying in the air. Is that fixes boxes you can't put on the ground? I hope so. I don't know what that means staying in the air. I've never had any boxes stay in the air. So now we need ice cream. Uh, ice cream. All right, chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream for. Ice cream for. And we'll just get two more of these. Darn it. Come on, people. Oh my goodness, look at this line. Look at this freaking line. So, anyone come over here? Yeah, see. If I open this, they sh some of the people should peel off that line and come over here. Yeah, I'll stay here. Why not? Wait, why is it closed? There, now it's not closed anymore. Hey, come on, buddy. Come on, let's do this. Let's ring people up. All right, man. I feel like people are buying more stuff, too. Like, I've gotten very few people just buying... Like, I've already banned all the people that are scummy enough to buy only one item, but... I still get some people. I don't get too many people buying like two items or three items. 104. Have a good day. What's up, man? Oh, that dog's going to eat well tonight. And 50 cents. Have a good day. Oh, boy. Is this live? It is live. It, it, blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. It is live. There we go. Uh, robberies and violence. Uh, I already uh, against the shoplifters and hope they will be optional. I don't mind shoplifters as long as we they'll get caught every single time by security. Like, we'd have to hire security. That could be pretty fun. Like, could you imagine hiring Psycho Sid? In a security uniform. And then when some kid tries to run out of the freaking... Well, why kid? I mean, some... Let's make it an adult. I don't want to see kids getting roughed up. Let's say some adult tries to run out with like a, you know, couple cereal boxes and Psycho Sid just breaks his kneecaps. That'd be freaking awesome. See you later. Oh my god, no way you're recorded live where he said my name. Did I say your name, Cuds? Well, I just said it there. If I said it, if I did say it earlier, I said it twice. And if I didn't say it earlier, there you go. Hurry up, people. He said there's a way to back up your save, but I don't know if it's automatic or anything. I couldn't figure, I couldn't find it. Pre-recorded live. Don't confuse the guy. It's live. <laughs> Yep, new update. What if it's not Psycho Sid? Well, nobody's going to be scared of anyone. It's like, who the hell? Could you imagine Psycho Sid trying to steal something? Who's going to say anything to Psycho Sid? From the official website, it looks like the loans are from a mafia-type person. So they may want to break some knees. Okay, fair enough. All right, guys, check this out. Almost $10,000, 109 customers. I was when I was recording. I recorded an episode today that already went up today. Maybe you guys didn't see it. Yeah, you can watch it after this. But um, yeah, I was like, why are so many people like finding stuff so expensive? And I realized I'm getting double the customers. So it really twelve. It's like six, like it used to be. Um, that's a pretty good amount. Plus, you're gonna your your store is gonna level up a lot faster too. Tea green small sushi bottled water. Tea green small sushi bottled. water. Let's go with 775. What was the second thing? <clears throat> I know one was bottled water. 
What, what, were, they, what were they? Does anybody remember? <laughs> I think that thing that tells you the price changes, actually, never mind. They could stay the same. There needs to be a category for price changes for the day. Small sushi, thank you. What's up, miser? Oh my goodness, we got no large, large sushi. Uh, 21, 29? Yeah, let's go with 22. This is the problem, man. I got like, I got stock so freaking much now. But I do have fifty thousand dollars. Well, I won't for long. But so both sushis, sushi. See if we could if we could make this this um storage room bigger, I could order like ten of everything and just you know go from there. I'm gonna buy extra of this since it's on sale. All right, we need mayo and hot sauce. Mayo. Hot sauce. We need dog food. Dog food, peanut butter, and white rice. Dog food. Oh, hold on. Dog food. Dog food. Dog food. Peanut butter. And white rice. What changed in this update? Uh, the, the game now gives you customers based on your, your store level, so you'll get more customers with a higher store, store level. That's a big thing. Is Sid the paranoid psycho? Um, I don't know if he's paranoid, but he's definitely a maniac. You just tell by looking in his eyes. Prior to this patch, uh, was using the more customer mod. Yeah, you get like 10k in cash, but spend 40% of it buying stock again. Um, yeah, that's 40% of it. No, no, I don't think it's 40% of it because most of the things I make 100%. Well, there's a there's quite a few things there I make 100% profit on, so I don't think it's 40%. Maybe 30, 20, 40% is not crazy, but I don't think it's that high. Yeah, he needs to give us an ability to um. Bring stuff in from the street in a much easier manner. Like, this is a big deal. I really, I really believe it needs to be in the next patch. And I hope it doesn't take, like, multiple weeks to do it. But if it does, it does. I mean, you know, developing a game is not easy. But Let me go close my register so when I do open up. If you close a register when someone's like there or on it, it, it could cause you some issues. I closed it with a woman. I closed it when there was a woman on the register, like about to go on the register, and she was stuck there for the whole day. Two weeks seems to be the average wait before patches updates. Yeah. So if he gives us the ability to deal with this ordering thing in two weeks, that will be okay. If he doesn't, then we're looking at a month, and that's... I'm not a developer. I don't know what he's dealing with. I don't know how the development goes. I don't know what kind of issues he's going to have. I know he's working hard. That's, that I do know. So that's all I can ask for. But if we have to wait a month of bringing stuff in like this... Hey, man, as long as I, I can deal with it. It doesn't bother me. I'm just worried about other people playing the game or people watching the videos. So as long as you guys people, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll I'll make videos all for all all the time. Don't bother me. I, I really do enjoy this game. I'm more thinking about from other people's views. I think if you could carry more than one box of a box, it would be good enough. That would be fine. That would be fine. I still prefer the the NPCs to do it, but and like you know, the, a lot of times they're not gonna be able to they're not gonna be able to keep up. So you could have them bring stuff in and you could have them bring stuff out, but you could also help them. I wouldn't mind. I don't mind doing it myself. I just want some help. So I'm not doing all of it. 
Oh, the box is stuck in the air where the ability is to place down boxes. Okay, that's definitely going to help. Then if you're moving something around, you don't have to fire your stalkers. You could just um, put the stuff on the ground so they don't stalk it. The dev could do what the mod community did, auto stock, as long as there's a spot on the shelf and take X money per box. I don't, I don't want like Harry Potter magic, like of boxes disappearing and ending up on like shelves. I would prefer to have a, like a NPC bringing the box over there. Like that's good for a mod to like, you know, kind of get you, give you something in the meantime till he does it right. But I don't want that to be a feature. Like, I don't want to just come out here and go, uh, living corpus. And then the box is in the freaking <laughs> inside the storage area. Um, living corpse is a weird one. Um, how about, um, Alohomora. And then the box is in the thing. Or what? what's the one I'm trying to think of? Swick and flish. Wait, swish and flick. What's that one? That's, um... Not, it's Liviosa. Not Liviosa. Wingardium Liviosa. There you go. That's the one. Why couldn't I remember that? Yeah, use the portal gun. <laughs> if you throw the boxes on the floor in a pile, would the NPCs be able to pick up and correct them? No. No, they won't do anything. Hermione was a bit of a little... I don't know. She, she didn't have what we would like to call the social skills. Livia, it's Livia Sa. Not Livia Sa. Like, oh, God. <laughs> and then when she walks in, like, in, on the train, and um, Ron's trying to do that spell, uh, something, something, turn this stupid fat rat yellow. And she's like, are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good. Like, <laughs> that's her fr I mean, like, people get mad at Ron for being mean to Hermione in the beginning, but, I mean, come on. Like, she was annoying. She was much more, like, I, I liked the way they did it in the books better than the movies. They were like, you know, it, it was, they put some of the blame on Hermione. It wasn't just Ron being a jerk. Like, Hermione had to learn how to, you know... Get social skills. I mean, it's very it's a perfect way of putting it. Four and lasagna. Cage, can't you yeet the OCD of random piles of toss boxes would break it? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to deal with that. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what to get next. I don't want to get something that's empty. Cause, oh, oh, okay. I guess we can get get some cat food. And we need cereal and red coffee. Cereal. Red coffee. Uh, the labels go on the rack when you put the stuff on it. It's like automatic. All right, diet soda and that that like black soda. Four and four and two and then. Muscle milk and three regular milk. Milk. Three. Four. Miser, thank you for the super chat. Cage, uh, yeet the boxes, Cage, please. Oh, come on. What are you doing to me? Uh, flour. What do you want me to yeet the boxes for anyway? Like what? What? Why would I do this? There. Happy I yeeted some boxes. Now I'm going to put them away properly.
So you guys doing anything fun for Easter Sunday? What is the most you can buy one at a time? What? I'm not sure what that means. Miser, thank you for the super chat. It's easier, right? Also, unga benga, unga bunga. Whatever. Nut job. No, it's not easier. It's actually slower. Mad Season, thank you for the gift gift memberships. Karate Monkey, thank you for re upping with the Cage Crew. Fabled Survivor Tier, hell yeah, bro. All right. All right. All right. I don't know who Captain Caveman is. What is the new update? Uh, the new update, the major part of the new update is um, as your store levels, you'll get more and more customers. So basically what it's now, what it's like right now is I go through one day and I get two day, two day worth of customers. So double the customers, double the money, double the stock being taken out of the back. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, how do you not know Captain Caveman? I don't know, what is it? Is it a cartoon or? I don't want to hear it. There's lots of cool stuff you don't know about. You're in no position to talk, young lady. I If I open the store, man, I'm just going to like really run out of stuff back here. Like, <laughs> But, okay, I'll open it. All right, guys, good luck. Oh, you can close your uh, your checkout counters now. When are you play Stranded Alien Dawn Imperion again? Um, I don't know about Imperion or Stranded Alien Dawn. Oh, yeah, that one. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought about it. I have no plans to play either right now. That's all I can say. Will I play him in the future? Who knows? Cartoon from the same people that did Flintstones. Okay. All right, fair enough. I never watched the Flintstones either. I mean, maybe I watched them here and there, but not much. I grew up on the Smurfs and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and and X Men and um, I did watch uh, He Man, Thundercats. What's the benefit of being a member of you, Bud? Um, you, you get to help out. You get to help me out financially. That's the main benefit. Uh, if you talk about other benefits, uh, if you do it on YouTube, you get a little. A little K by your name. You get to use emotes, depending on what, uh, how much you you uh, join at. You get other benefits like, um, uh, like you get to have your name at the beginning of one of my videos a month, at the end, or you know, there's all kinds of benefits and stuff. Vampire DK one. Thank you very much for the super chat. Giggity, nice. Do you remember Shut Up Motley? I have no idea what that is. I'm going to probably reorganize a store on Monday, and you guys will see that video on Tuesday. Now, the reason I'm waiting till Monday is because I need a really long stretch of time. Because I'm telling you right now, this store is going to take... I will probably take a good four hours making that video. It'll probably be about three hours of me reorganizing the store. It's going to be a big deal. I don't want... $54,000 either. I want like $60,000, $70,000. I want a lot of money. 
what I'm going to do is, when I'm ready to reorganize the store, I'm going to fire all of my um, stalkers, and then I'm going to run the store for two days, probably, to just clear out all everything as much as I possibly can, and then I will reorganize it. Now, today and tomorrow, um, I'm going to be streaming, so I don't really have a, like, a big chunk of time to record, so that's why I'm not doing it before then. And Sunday, I'm going out for Easter, so I won't have time then either. Monday will be the next day. I'll have a, a good chunk of time. So, yeah. Uh, Susu. And that stuff. So, sugar. Four. Four. Two. Just finished my recent episode. Nice. Uh... Huh. We need bread, tuna, and hummus. Yeah, if you stay open 24-7 at this stage in the game, you don't have a chance in hell at keeping up with the stock. Not even, like, It's not even possible. Right? Oh. Oh, I don't have room for all that. Okay. So that means none of this. We already had the two. Two more of this. Uh, Nabo, uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Sending love from the Big Apple. Oh, nice. I love you watch. I uh, love you watching your videos and don't even mind you are from New Jersey. I moved out of New Jersey in October, so I'm not from New Jersey anymore. Do you know this I wrote Wawa? Oh yeah, clicking the label to order from there would be pretty cool. Uh, scallop. Um, Sprite. Salmon. I'm just going to get six salmon, I think. See, the thing is, if you let us, like, expand the um, the storage room more, we could order, like, a lot of stuff. Like, really keep a lot of stuff back here. Then we wouldn't be ordering all the time. Or we probably still would be, but it wouldn't be as bad. Ball, thank you for the super chat. What are we looking at now? Um, salt and pepper. I'll just do five of each on those. So when you make a profit, how many, how many, how many speak items? So when you make a profit, oh, sorry, a portrait. How many, um, oh, sorry, I butchered that anyway. <laughs> I freaking can't even read. All right, uh... Need chicken and French fries. Are all the registers full? I'm not sure. Let's go take a look. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Lots of people waiting. F them, they can wait. I would love to see the reorganization live and not all edited. Eh, I I do the re I, I mentioned this uh, on the video today. I do the reorganization. Like I'm sitting through it. And I'm telling you right now. I don't think it's I don't think it's quality entertainment. Um, so I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll tell you what. When I do it, I'll like cut back to it while I'm doing it. Like when I'm like 25% through, I'll cut back and I'm like, okay, this is where I'm at, and talk about it a little bit. And then 50%, 75%. That way you get to at least see see it. But, um, yeah, it's like, like most of the time it's me, oh, I'm going to put this here. And then I move a couple other things. I'm like, oh, wait, that didn't work. Let me rearrange everything you just saw. So, like, when you saw me put it there in the first time, the first spot I put it in, it was a complete waste of your time because it's not going to end up there anyway. So, I don't, I don't like showing that stuff live.
Enjoying this series from Ireland. Nice. Can you do a time lapse of your store transformation? I don't think a time lapse would work because the time lapse the time lapse works better when I'm standing still. If I'm moving around a lot, I think it's gonna be very just like you won't like really know what you're looking at. It would be pretty bad. Just found you, and I want to say love your vibe. Glad uh, I found someone further in the game than me. Well, that's awesome, Risky. Thank you for the kind words. I'll tell you what. I'll think about doing it without cuts. But I'm telling you right now, like, I, I don't think it's going to be a good video, and I don't think most people are going to like it. No promises. I'll think about it. Cage is so good at this game. It looks like a time lapse already. Yeah, I get a lot of people ask me, how are you moving so fast? I'm like, I don't know. Just holding down shift. Can I do an edited and an unedited version? I cannot because that's not how I record. Um, when I make cuts, like if I'm going to cut something out, I basically, uh, I mean, I don't know. I might be able to. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. If I can do it, I'll, I'll do it. Um, but usually, just so you guys know, when I'm recording, if I'm going to cut something out, I stop recording. So there's, it's not like I go through and I'm like, oh, I, it's not like I record for two hours. And then I go through and I say, oh, this isn't this isn't interesting. Let's cut this out. That's not interesting. Let's cut that out. I plan it as I'm recording so it makes the editing process not take multiple hours. I'd rather spend more time making a quality video than spend extra time editing stuff out that, you know, so I make it easier to edit out, edit out so I can spend more time making a quality video and less time trying to figure out what, what works and what doesn't. Yeah, to, uh, yeah, I do hold the shift button without thinking about it. There was a game, I don't remember what it was. I want to say it was like Minecraft or something, but I don't know. There was a game where you would automatically sprint, and if you held down shift, it would make you walk. And I was so annoyed. I, I, was, I felt like I was being trolled. I was like, this is not funny. I'm just saying. Thank you, Joe. Technically, if enough wanted to see full uncut, you could do a private video with a link in Discord and put the cut on YouTube like normal. I, I'll think about what I can. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yeah, we definitely need a bigger stock room. I wouldn't even say a bigger stock room would be great. I think a bigger stock room is a necessity. Do you think this game will end up on console? He said he has no plans to make it on console, but I would strongly advise him to try and do it on console if he can. Because, you know, I think this game would work really well on console. I was watching a streamer stream the other day. And um, someone came in and asked him what game he's playing. Now, every streamer, most streamers, put the game in the title. And I've had people come in and ask, you know, what, ga what game are you playing? And um, the streamer, like, made a comment, like, check the title. And it just, it, ru <sighs> it rubbed me the wrong way. And, like, I he didn't say it, like, meanly. I don't think he was being a dick or anything. But um, he was being kind of quiet. Like, he wasn't talking a lot. And I was like, use this opportunity to interact with your with your audience, you know? If someone's asked me what game is this and it's in the title, I could say 
it's in the title and then have five minutes of silence. Or I could talk to the person who just came in about the game. I could be like, yeah, this is Supermarket Simulator. It's freaking awesome. I've been playing it for the past couple weeks. You know, it's a, it's a stalking simulator game. And, and you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of interacting with my audience. And, and it always kind of irks me a little bit when, when people don't. Um, like, I'll be like, I'll be like, are you not entertained? <laughs> I'll be like talking to people like in my channel, like in my regular videos. And I'll be like, what do you guys think about this? Do you know about that? And like, pe- like every once in a while, someone will make a comment. Like, why don't you just Google it? Like, why are you asking people? Like, do your job, you know, like learn stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I can go Google it. And sometimes I do, but like, I find it's a fun way to interact with my audience because I read my comments, you know, and I pay attention to my comments. And a lot of times they've given me really good ideas. They've given me good information. And I think it's fun for someone watching the, the stream or the video to know that the, you know, the person playing is going to interact with them. So I find it a very fun way to interact with my audience. I'm sorry, but every time I see your, I'm sorry, but every time I see your Namaker, I get hungry. <laughs> Everybody likes bacon. All right, chicken and prosciutto. It wasn't Raptor. I don't. I don't watch Raptor. Um, I watch his regular videos sometimes, but like not his streams. I don't want to name names. I'm just. It wasn't Raptor. Just so you know. Uh, prosciutto. Chicken. Five. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Okay. Welcome, Jack. These steps into stalker need, need uh, the wood removed from the sides. Keep getting stuck on them. Yeah, and that and that stupid gate or that like fence. What game is this? Well, that's funny you ask. This is called Supermarket Simulator. It's my favorite simulator game in a long time. You run a supermarket, and it's really really fun. Sorry, I'm that guy. I guess it's because I'm not the streamer. But after some. Time I get tired of repeating myself, um, so I copy and paste just a command. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. That's fair. And like when people keep, we've had like 20 million people come in today and ask about this update. And um, originally I was like, man, maybe I should just have Pig Hammer copy and paste. I was like, no, no, I can interact with my audience. Like it, if I have to answer it one time or 500 times, it's still talking to people. And more moreover, it's talking to new people, people that just came in. So. Will you be reorganizing on stream? I wouldn't mind. Um, no, I won't be. Okay. I have to run to the bathroom really quick because I've been drinking because I've been so thirsty and I don't know why. I'll be right back and then uh, we'll see how the day went. You guys could watch my stalkers work. There you go. Look at him. Look at him go. I'll be right back. Okay. Huh. All right, I'm back. Okay, let's see how we did today. You guys want to guess on any ne- negatives? 35. I'm going to go with, you know, I'm going to go with 35 too. All right, here we go. 
28. 20. It's going to be really hard for people to guess when it's this high. Oh, Ricey. Nice job, man. 28. That was not an easy one either. 106 customers, $10,000. All right, can someone write this down for me, please? Uh, less oil, tech, beer, honey. You don't have to write down the honey. Just the other two. Go at eleven seventy-five. What did I say? Tech beer. Isn't that one of these? Yes, it's this one. Uh, let's go with five fifty. A lot for one bottle of beer, right? Less oil, yes, okay. Four twenty-five. See, look at this. I've run one day. These guys cannot keep up. Unless I'm out of olive oil, which I very well might be. But they have a hard time keeping up. Alright, olive oil, potato chips. Olive oil chips I'll get one of those just to round that out um white labeled water blue and red coffee three four coffee um I said blue and red right I'm pretty sure Uh, all right. We're going to do five of these. No, we're going to do six. Then we're going to do five. Five. So how do you like the new update? Uh, it's, it's good. It's really good. It's not quite what I expected. Um, but it's definitely really good. Really good. If I, like, one to ten... I would give it like a like a seven. That's such a lame. All right, one to ten, you can't use seven. I would give it a. Honestly, I kind of give it a six. It's definitely above average, but um, I expect more in the next update. He's working hard. The, the things he is adding to the game and making changes have to be done. But I was expecting different things. And let's do two of those. So he did he not state he was it was a small update? Oh no, he said it was a small update. Yeah, it actually said small update. Yes. You'd give it an 8 to 1? 8-1? Eight Do you mean an 8.1? Or I'm, not, I'm confused. Any FPS tips? Um, I had problems with the with my FPS in this update the first time I played it, but I was doing something else on my computer, and ever since then, the, the, the lag has been normal. So um, if, you're, if you mean you're having lag and you want some tips, I'm not really sure what that could be. Uh, the fact that he's a solo dev, I'm pretty sure he didn't expect this kind of success for this game. Yeah, yeah, and I'm glad the game's doing well for him. And I, I think this is, I think it's a great update. I mean, it's like it's above average, but it, again, it just didn't have the, the, the things that I was expecting. Maybe those things take a lot more work. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a developer, so um, I'm just saying. And like, I'm having a great time with the game. I'll play this game all freaking day. When I like, when I like think about the updates that you know didn't have some things people wanted, I'm more thinking about other people, people that aren't me, because I want people to play this game. Because if they play the game, they're gonna watch the videos. If they stop playing the game, they're probably gonna stop watching the videos, and then you know the game could slow down, and that would suck. But you know, I mean, I would give it a seven. If I wasn't able to give it a seven, I would give it a six, because seven really is kind of like a a mid tier like grade when you give a grading system. I mean, six is still above average. I just don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm trashing the game. I'm not, by any means. But. Uh, 
uh, the, uh, the major thing of the update now is as your store level grows, you'll get more customers. And that alone makes it a really good update. Maybe I should give it an 8. I don't know. I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. I feel like 6 is too low. I feel like 8 is too high. I'm going to give it a 7, which is 2 points above average. That's an above average update. I just don't like it when like, I say it's like a 7 or whatever. People think I'm like trashing the game because like... Seven's above average. It's like when it's like when you rate somebody like on their looks. Like people are like, oh, it's a ten. It's a ten. No, I mean, you know, seven. You're seven. Oh, how dare you? Well, it's like above average, man. Like if you're a five, that means you're average. What's wrong with being average? You know, same thing with the game. I think a seven is a really, really. Um, it's praise. I'm praising the update. It's just like if he made the storage area bigger, or if he made like the ability for people to bring boxes in for you. Or if he let us bring multiple boxes in at one time, now you're talking like a nine on that update. So, it's sped up the progression. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, it did. Well, not really. Maybe it kind of did. I'm going back and forth on that. Basically, what this update did in my game, I don't know, everyone might be at different points in the game. This might change depending on your store level and everything. What the game did for me is it it's crunched. It, I, you guys can't see because I don't have a webcam, but I'm, I'm taking my hands and I'm, I'm squishing them together. It basically crunched two days into one. So normally you would need two days to get over 100 customers, roughly, right? I'm just talking averages here. Normally you need two days to get like over 100 customers. And you need two days to get $10,000 at my level in my game. Now, one day gets you $10,000 and over 100 customers, which means you're getting two days worth of customers in one day. Does that really speed up progression? Not, but well, kind of, kind of. Because like in the day, usually there's a wasted hour where people don't come in because you're, you're open from eight till nine and people don't start coming in until nine. But at the end of the day, you have to order all the stuff for those two days, you have to, you know. No, it definitely speeds it up. No, it definitely does. Because you're getting twice the customers in one day. Um, yeah, it definitely speeds it up. But the, the ordering is what's killing me, you know. <laughs> That's the thing we really need to kind of work on. No, it definitely does speed it up. No, it does. For sure. For sure. I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. I don't think it's an eight though. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't give it an eight. Yeah, because let's say it takes eight minutes to get through a day. I think I think when I'm when I do my time lapses, they're usually eight minutes. So if it takes eight minutes to get through a day and you do, you know, a hundred customers and ten thousand dollars. Yeah, it, it, yeah, no, it definitely takes. Yeah, because every day you're saving eight eight minutes. If you if you do one day and and get the same stuff you used to get in two days, and it takes eight minutes or sixteen minutes for both days, but now you're doing it in eight minutes. Every ten thousand dollars you're saving eight minutes worth of your time. So yeah, it's definitely faster. Definitely, I don't know what I was thinking. After seven one hours of playing, I got tired of bringing in boxes and don't really trust the mods out there for this game. See, people like Dixie are who I'm thinking about when I talk about this update. <clears throat> th th these are the people I'm talking about. It's not about us. Us hardcore people, like really hardcore, although I would argue 71 hours is probably pretty hardcore. But for us hardcore people, like like I'll put on a video and watch something and just bring in boxes for hours. It, it doesn't bother me. But not everyone's going to do that. And those are the people I'm worrying about. And like I want them, you know, Dixie might come back when the update comes out where, where they don't have to bring in boxes. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be playing something else, and you would have lost that person. Uh, that that's that's the area I'm thinking in. Every eight minutes, you spend thirty minutes buying and stocking. Lol. Yeah, but like that, you'd have to do that anyway. Let's say it. Let's say over two days, eight at eight minutes per day, and I have to do ten minutes of stocking each day. If you condense the day into one day, and now that eight minutes is gone. But I still have to stock for the 20 minutes, 10 minutes each day. 
um, I'm stocking for the 20 minutes, which would be 10 minutes each day. And I'm still like going through a day that's eight minutes, but the second day is gone. That's just eight minutes. You don't have to spend time doing anything. It's definitely faster. Mathematically, it's literally faster. But the game is early access, right? Yes, yes. Nobody's saying it's not. I don't think anybody's like attacking the game. I mean, it's just just talking about the game. Like, I don't want people to get defensive about the game. We got to be able to talk about. I mean, yeah, you're right. Let me put it this way: it is early access. We need to voice to the developer what he needs to do during early access, and I think that's part of our like, I don't know, our duty. I don't know. It's my duty. I mean, if I see something that's wrong, I'm going to let him know. And maybe he already knows. Maybe he's like, yeah, I'm working on it. But we don't know that. Like, I don't know that. He probably is, but still, I mean, I'm just saying. What's up, Kira? Been getting crazy amount of customers since the new update. Bigger profits, too. Hell yeah, I want the game to do well. I want him to make freaking oodles and oodles of money and just keep banging out awesome updates. I want this to be... The seven days to die of sim games. I want them to be still making updates for it in twenty in twenty thirty four. That's what I want. So, wish them all the luck. All right, beer. It, uh, which one? On the bottom? No, the top. Okay. So that's four. And that's two. Hey, Kim, what's going on? It's just like in the in the internet era we live in, like people go to people's streams and like, you know, a lot of people will just trash games, just trash them and unfairly so a lot of the times. And then like people get like in that mindset where if someone says something like that could be improved on the game, they kind of feel like the person might be trashing the game because there's, you know, it's just the mindset of the internet. Everything sucks. Every all the games suck. Everything's horrible. And that is so not me. Not my attitude. I don't think most of the people here feel that way about anything. So, um, you know, I'm just uh, trying to throw things out there to uh, hopefully. I mean, I would say like get back to him. Like, I want the I want these ideas to get back to him. But honestly, I think he probably knows about everything we're saying right now. He's probably like, duh. I'm working on it. <laughs> but I still like to talk about it. It's fun. We need the um, toilet paper. I love watching you play this game. It's oddly satisfying. Awesome. I love playing it. It's oddly satisfying. So that's win-win right there. We need hummus and tuna. And then let's also go with... Sandwich bread. I don't know why it's so cold down here, man. Like, I'm never comfortable. I'm either too hot or too cold. It's annoying. But you're like 50 years old. Old and wise. Uh, you got half of that, right? Do a shift um, on one of your tails. Okay. Let me uh, finish stocking and then um, I'll hop on the tail. Whiskey. Is whiskey the most expensive thing in the game? I think it's even more than... Uh, actually, I, I know it's... I'm pretty sure it's more than um, uh, sushi. Hi, Keith from New Zealand. Hey, what's going on? New Zealand, Lord of the Rings, baby. Flight of the Concords. Hell yeah. But it's the last license. What's the wait? What is that? Last license. What whiskey? Or are you guys talking about something else? No, I got whiskey right now, and I don't have the last license. I've had whiskey for a while. I 
I didn't know you knew about Flight of the Concords. Wow, Miser, you know about Flight of the Concords? Sheesh, I thought you only knew about freaking Private Pain and, and coffee. Oh, there's another whiskey? Oh, okay. I like the first season, but I didn't like the second season too much. I couldn't get through much of it. Too many mother uckers uckers with my shit. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Welcome, Steph. Did you know that um uh Brett from Flay the Concords was in Lord of the Rings? Have you seen Lord of the Rings, Miser? Ugh, probably not. Yeah, I should be able to tell one of my stalkers to stock all this stuff. Look at this. I'm just stocking everything and they're standing around doing sweet F all. Think, McFly, think. You know what would happen if I handed in my homework in your handwriting? I'd get kicked out of school. You wouldn't want that, would you? Well, would you? Hey, not too early. I sleep in on Saturdays. Hey, McFly, your shoes on time. <laughs> don't be so gullible, McFly. I don't want to see you in here again, McFly. Marissa, thank you for the super chat. Missed the first part of the stream, so I'll have to catch up later. But I have uh, a burning question after I after I caught an old video. Do the cashiers not have feet? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, they have feet. They're right there. See? See? There's their feet. All right. Mystery solved. See, this is the kind of burning questions you're going to get answered at a KJ for each stream. Am um, I going to play Dragon's Dogma 2? Isn't that like an RPG or something? I don't think so. Plus, I heard some bad things about it. I do have a game I want to play, but I'm, I don't want to say. But I found out today that it's not on Steam, and they have no intention of putting it on Steam. So I will probably not do a series on it, but I might play it on my own time. I don't know if I should tell you guys or not. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, Mad Season, thank you, thank you for the uh, gift subs. Okay. Oh, goodness, we still have so much more to order. Oh, how's this even possible? All right. All right. Oh, my goodness. Wait, did I see her become a member? Wait, what? Hold on. Wait. Did I just see Marissa pop up as a member? Or was that was it was I just imagining things? Oh, Mad Season gifted Marissa, didn't didn't he? Wait, can you choose who gets gifted? It was Marissa. Wow. Okay. Alright, so we need green and blue books. Green blue. Just wanted to pop and say uh, thank you. You have no idea how many times you've saved me in my gameplay when I get lost. Awesome. 
Thank you, Sadie Jane. Yeah, you can't choose. It's just uh, wow, that's lucky. Because I figured you, I figured you gifted it to her because she just donated. All right, uh, black book and alligator book. And pink book and uh, that white book right there. Pink book and white book. That takes care of all the books. Uh, we need what? Still, dude, I have been ordering so much white pasta. Do I have room for extra? Yeah, I'm ordering extra. So annoying. I have to order this stuff all the freaking time. You know what? The hell with it. I even went and checked the price because I thought I have it like marked down too low or something, but I didn't. All right, we need black vodka. Why not say it would be nice to know which games you'd like to play? What? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, because the thing is, like, I might do a series on the game. And I don't like letting people know games I'm going to be doing series on. Because then what they'll do is they'll go play the game ahead of me. And it, usually if someone's ahead of me uh, in the gameplay, they won't watch. They won't be as tempted to watch the videos because they're like, oh, I already bid past that part. So they're like, I don't, I don't, like, when I'm going to play a game, the last thing I want is for everyone to be, like, ten steps ahead of me. You know what I mean? So, I don't think I'm going to do this game, but just in case I do. Just in case I do. Hey, you know what? No, I gotta, I can't. I can't. I'm probably not going to do it, though. Probably not. All right, orange flower. Each of those. I watch Keech's, uh, Keech's videos so I don't have to play games. I'm too busy to play them. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Sounds like someone's got kids. I want to watch Miser and rest of the crew do multiplayer stream of Vintage Story. How the hell did you know it was Vintage Story? What? That's creepy, bro. Like, <laughs> really, really creepy. Yeah, it's not on Steam, though. It's a, kind of a problem. No kids, just a business. Eh, fair enough. That's like Pig Hammer, man. No kids. Guy freaking works all the time. Yeah. They probably just Googled new game, definitely not coming to Steam. It's not a new game. I actually did uh, videos on it um, years ago. Years ago. I am a 100% disabled Marine vet. I got tons of time. Well, thank you for your service. You said it wasn't on Steam. You played it before and liked it and haven't seen you play with everyone before. Uh, I never said I played it before, but fair um, uh, assumption. <laughs> yeah, I tried Vintage, Vintage Story in early alpha. Seems a good game. It's a little on the hardcore side. That's the only thing. I think that's something like people really have problems with. I mean, it's like subsistence, except harder. I think it's a little more, more forgiving on death than subsistence, but it's still harder.
Um, I love that your favorite TV show is Supernatural. That's mine, too. Yeah, Supernatural's dope, man. There's another game I was thinking about playing, which I almost will definitely not do a video series on. Can anyone guess what that is? <laughs> what the other game I've been, like, really, really desperately wanting to play recently? If you figure this one out, I'm going to I'm gonna ban you because that's creepy. No, I won't ban you, but I will pff, just play the lottery because there's no way you're going to get this one. It's not Bell Wright. It's not Stellaris. It's not Sims 4. It's not Superman 64. <laughs> It's not Stardew Valley. None of these are even close. It's not Minecraft. It's not Star Fox uh, Zero. It's not Starfield. It's not Fallout 4 London mod. It's not Dub Marine. It's not Pac Man. It's not Frostpunk. You guys aren't even close. Not 007 Golden Eye on 64. It's not Curvy Street Cookers. Is that a real game? <laughs> Sounds funny. Red Dead Redemption, no. Valheim, no. Please tell us the car minds want to know. Lethal Company, no. Farmville, no. It's not on PC. It's a console game. Now if, like people like know me if you've known me for a long time, you might figure it out now. I think I've actually done videos on it. It's not Frogger, it's not Oregon Trail, it's not Helldivers. You should tell Psycho, sell Psycho Sid t-shirts. <laughs> it's not God of War, it's not Minecraft, it's not Gears of War, it's not Final Fantasy. Um, it's not Mario 64, it's not Gran Turismo. You should do a Double Dragon stream. Oh, I could. I could. It is MLB The Show, good call. Alright, good job. Yeah, MLB The Show. I've been watching... Mintar, whatever his name is. I don't know. I can't even say his name. He's like a big YouTuber. He's been doing MLB The Show recently. Okay, are we close to being done stocking, or can I go bring people up? I might never get another license again, guys. I've already got too many licenses as it is. You want to know what the croc, the croc book is about? Who knows? Now, it's not so crazy to guess once I told you it was on console. Because, like, the only game I've ever done on console has been MLB The Show. Although, I, I think I did some Gears of War stuff before. But, oh, you know, I also did, um... What was that PlayStation game with the guy who was running around the city? And he had, like, the electric powers and stuff. I did I did a series on that, too. I don't even know if those, those videos are still up on YouTube, though. I might have taken them down. Yes, infamous. That's right. Yeah. That game is cool because you could like choose to go down like an evil path. The way you use your powers. That was years ago. Year like a decade ago. Alright. How are we doing back here? Are we good to go? This is all looking acceptable, acceptable, acceptable. We need large sushi. We should probably do the milk now. We need pulp. We need large sushi and pulp. 
Sushi. Soda. And let's do three muscle milks. And that should be... Oh, fudge it. Fudgers. Okay. Um... Let's do three of these. And then we'll do one, two, three. Dog food. Oh, we only need two milks. Dog food. Let's do the cakes. And then one of these. All right, that's the last thing I'm ordering. Reach out to Dev. We need Psycho Sid, Psycho Sid merch. Yes, please. I don't want to do a like a a shirt myself because I don't have like permission. You know, I don't have access to that character. Only four books left of Girl in Cover Dress. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll let that go. I'm trying not to order stuff until it's actually out, for the most part. You you earn you own the name Psycho Sid, yeah. Unless the WWF has anything to say about it. You have a favorite MLB team? Yeah, I like the Mets, New York Mets. I liked them for a long time in the in the eighties and nineties, and then I kind of got out of it like around the two thousand ten. Um, but I'm starting to get into it a little bit more recently. Like last year, I was kind of following them. I appreciate that they spent money, but man, highest payroll in baseball, and that's the best you could do. I mean, I think if you stream a game that's not on Steam, like the one you would probably get a ton of followers just to see what all what it's all about and the numbers to help you money personally. I I don't think so because I think once they realize it's not on Steam, a lot of people are just gonna go, they're gonna leave. Like I've done games that were on. Origin? Wait, is Origin... What's the... I don't remember the other one. Whatever it's called. You know what it's called. Um, I did games that were on that, and uh, they always do worse than the stuff that's on Steam. Oh, yeah, Epic. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and open up. Oh, two more boxes. Mets are fun Rocky fan here and they refuse to spend and it's frustrating. Yeah, the Mets, like, when I when I finally stopped watching them, it's because they stopped spending money. You know? Like, it was when um the Wilpons or whoever they owned, the, the, like, they got, like, taken for, like, someone stole all their money or something weird like that. And then they didn't have a lot of money, so they didn't want to put any money into the team. And I'm like, listen, you're a New York team. You're charging a ridiculous amount of freaking money for your tickets. You have your own, like, network. I mean, come on. Like, spend the money. It really drove me nuts. Especially since the Yankees always did so well and the Mets couldn't compete. It was just, it was really annoying. Like, Yankee fans, like, my my friends are Yankee fans. were so obnoxious. And I just had to deal with it because I couldn't say anything because the Mets were freaking trash. I think when the, when the Yankees beat the Mets in the World Series, it might have broke something in me. And then, like, my um, my wife is a Royals fan. And then the Royals beat the Mets in 2015. And I got to sit there and listen to them? Like, I don't think so. I went to the Super Bowl party, um, and I, I mentioned this yesterday. Uh, I don't really have a problem with the with the, the Chiefs because they never, like, beat the Giants, like, ever. So it didn't really bother me. Um, so, like, when they, when they were in the Super Bowl, I was like, wait, what? Oh, weird. It said it was closed, but... What the hell's going on? I think this thing's bugged. Damn it. Yeah, 
Anyway, um, so I had to sit there and, and like watch them celebrate and like I don't like the Chiefs. Um, I don't really have a problem with the Chiefs from like a you know Giants Chiefs rivalry. It doesn't really bother me, but the Chiefs bother me because they win too much. And I can't stand any team that wins too much. And then the whole Taylor Swift stuff really annoyed me. Like just really annoyed me. Like like give me a break. Like nobody cares. Well, okay, a lot of people care, but I don't care. And it annoyed me. So they win too much in the Taylor Swift thing. But I didn't really have a problem with the Chiefs. But the Royals beating the Mets in the World Series? Yeah, we got we got beef. We got beef there. Um, why, Wes, why? Think of the Super Chat. This is kind of crazy. I'm listening to Cage on my Google Video Hub on my desk while playing Supermarket Simulator on my Steam Deck, broadcasting it to my living room TV while sitting in a living room comfortably playing. What a world we live in. Oh, yeah. Can we get some more likes, please? We got over 500 people here. By the way, welcome, guys. Thank you for showing up. Uh, if you could like the video, uh, that would be really nice. It really helps out a lot. Just remember, Yankee fans all cried when the Red Sox came back from four games to beat them and then go on to the World Series. Yeah, but who cares, though? The, the, how many World Series did the, did the Yankees win in the 90s? Or, like, all time? <laughs> like, the Yankees can't cry about anything. Like... They win all the time. You're lucky that's eleven dollars, lady. They win. They won. They won plenty. They they can't cry. It was like when the Giants, like beat the um Packers, uh, not the Packers, but the um, uh, the Patriots when they're on their like, uh, when they have their perfect season going, and the Giants beat them in the Super Bowl. At that point, if the Giants lose the next ten years, I can't complain. Like, yeah, it it does it does irk me when like a team wins so much and then when they don't win, they get so mad. It's like, dude, like. <laughs> cares, man. You've got yours, you know? One sixty-one fifty. Have a good one. The Cubs never win. They won. Uh, they broke their thing like a decade ago, didn't they? Just lurking tonight while I get things ready for Easter. Ooh, fun. Just imagine poor 10-year-old Yankee fans that have never seen them win... Win it all. Eh. Coming from a Mets fan? Who I haven't seen them win since I was 10? No, I don't feel bad for them. Not one bit. Have a nice day. And I'll bet you the Yankees will still win a World Series before the Mets. 196. 25. Have it going. What's in this update? Okay, so the, ma the major part of the update is... 2650. Have a good day. The major part of the update is as your store levels up, you'll get more customers. So like when I was playing like before the update, I was getting about 56 customers, like $5,000 a day. Uh, now I'm getting double that. And that is awesome. Uh, one, two, four. Have a good day. Uh, 129. How we going? What's up, Psycho Sid? Bow chicken, Psycho Sid. We need it. We need a Psycho Sid music cover. Maybe he's in a band. Yeah, he pro he's probably also in a band. Oh, this lady's gonna get wasted. Uh, one forty-eight twenty-five. Have a good one. Eighty-five. Whoops. Eighty-five. Have a good day. What's up, my man? Gonna put that extra cheese on the pizza. Maybe the pizza doesn't come enough cheese. 84. Or maybe he's gonna put it on those pops. Somebody said those pops are like tater tots. They don't look like tater tots. Have it going. Uh, have a nice day. Did they fix the lag? I can't play this game anymore due to lag. Uh, you know, it's weird. Like, when I first started playing it, if anything, the lag's probably going to be worse. Because you're going to have many more customers around, I would think. When I, when I like, played my first, like, day, the lag felt really bad. And, like, right now I'm at 27 frames a second, which is pretty effing laggy. But I'm going to be honest with you, I don't feel it. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel laggy. So, I don't know. It kind of feels about the same before the update. What's up, Frank? Frank, you forgot your shampoo, bro. 73.50. Have it going. 
Uh, De Gaulle, thank you for re upping with the Cage Crew. Runa hasn't stopped talking about this game. Over here, feeding like an addict. You've created a monster. Yeah, she was in the stream yesterday uh, talking about it. Look, Runa. Look what I'm doing. I'm playing Supermarket Simulator. And you can't play it. <laughs> Lol. Have a nice day. All right. Uh, 38, 25. Have it going. Mr. Shruna, thank you for re-upping with the cage crew. I needs more. Well, you can't play. You you can only watch me play. Have a nice day. When are you when are you going home, guys? Oh my goodness! Look at this lady. Two ninety two. I love it, Red. Have a good one. Uh, two fifty. Have a nice day. Hopefully the Mets will pick up Juan Soto next offseason. Hey, did you guys hear about um, what's his face that that like Pete, that um, uh, what's his name? That Japanese guy who's like really good. He was on the Angels, and now they think he was betting on baseball, or he could have been betting on baseball. How crazy is that? Could you imagine if they caught him betting on baseball? What are they gonna do? They gotta ban him for life, right? You got to. Talk to Pete Rose, if you don't believe me. Like, if they caught him, like, he actually bet on baseball, they would have to suspend him for life. Could you imagine? Ugh. I think, I think even if he did bet, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna bury it. You'll ne if he did, you'll never find out about it. Have it going. Have a nice day. Yeah, Otani? Yeah, yeah, Otani. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Amanda? Alright, there you go. Oh, love it. Good job, Frank. Five, have a good day. Hello, mannequin lady. Don't these people look plastic, some of them? Hey, I'll sell the mannequins. Whatever, their money's good. I'm not gonna say no to mannequins. How's it going? What's up, Max Payne? We should get name our stores? Yeah. We probably will be able to eventually. 104, have it going. He's a superstar. If he did, he's getting a slap on the wrist. Probably a season suspension. Uh, he is on the Dodgers. If he gets caught and it's out in the open and he literally bet on baseball games, he needs to be banned. They banned Pete Rose for life. Like you can't like they will they will get they'll get destroyed. Um, you know, with with the public opinion, if the, if he gets caught, straight up caught, no doubt about it, one hundred percent bet on baseball, he needs to be banned. And I, I I honestly don't think he should be banned, and I don't think Pete Rose should have been banned for life either. But if you're gonna ban one person, you gotta ban the other. Have a nice day. Yeah, Pete Rose was done playing. What does that matter? I think he, when he bet, he was a manager. Nine, seventy-five. Have it going. Yeah, I don't think P. Rose should have been banned either. <laughs> That's my point, though. You can't just ban one person and not the other. That's not right. If Otani gets a slap, Pete Rose will have a chance to file an unbanned. Okay, if Otani gets a slap on the wrist and they let Pete Rose back in and like get him in the Hall of Fame while he's still alive. I will accept it, but they banned Pete Rose for decades. Decades. So, that's not right. And they also banned all those people on steroids? Let them in the Hall of Fame. Come on. I know it's not the same thing, but... It's not like the pitchers weren't taking steroids in that era, too. Have a Pete Rose never bet on games his team played. Yeah, I know. It, it was stupid. It really was stupid. Otani, a money machine. Number one uh, jersey sailor. They not going to ban for life. I don't see it, although I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, they, Then they should get ridiculed. They should get ridiculed. Like People should let them know what kind of pieces of crap they are. And the different rules for different people. It's scummy. Okay, how many negatives, guys? 
I'm going to say 17. Moxie, yeah. thank you for joining the cage crew. Yeah, I love video of Pete Rose saying he wish he had an interpreter when he was asked about it. That, was, that is the biggest freaking troll. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was really funny. What did I say, 17? Okay, here we go. Oh, 15. All right, who was the first one to say 15? 15, 15, 15. Let me know if I miss the first person that said it. Um, Pew Plant. Pew Plant. Congratulations, man. Good job. You have 900 store points. It's legit. Um, Pepper. I'm going to... 10, 25. I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick. When I get out, we'll do some more rigging up. I think we're probably... Uh, we're going to run out of stuff. We're going to order some stuff. I'm trying not to order stuff, but it's just... It's impossible. Let's just see stuff we're... Oh, man. I'm out of multiple books. Three different kinds of books. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, fine. We got we got to order the books. We can't run out of books. Uh, yellow, gray, and red. Yellow, gray, and red. Yellow, gray, and red. What do you think about this game being co-op? I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I got no problem with that. More customers makes the auto stock not look so bad for a mod. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what he's got planned. I'm not a developer. I don't know what he's got planned for next um, for the next update, but this whole bringing stuff in from the street thing needs to be dealt with in some, some way. It really does. Shoot, I brought the I bought the wrong books. Son of a biscuits. Yeah, I got to get Pig Hammer and Miser in here and have them just bring in all these boxes for me. So I can go, like, golfing and, like, on vacations and stuff. Could you imagine, like, Supermarket Simulator? In this episode, we're in the Caribbean. We're going to be sitting with a drink in a, on a beach somewhere and maybe go in a hot tub or something. Check out next episode when we go... I don't know, playing beach, beach volleyball and uh, go back and, and, you know, hang out at the hotel bar. Could you imagine, like, going on vacation and leaving those two nut jobs in, in charge of your store? Oh, my goodness. Ugh. If Cage gets a hot tub, I'm filling with beans and diving in with a purple bikini on. I will be nowhere in in around. <laughs> Do you need a better graphics card? That's why you um won't that that way you won't get any lag. Um, I mean, better graphics cards are always good. Uh, I've got a pretty good graphics card, though. Um, I don't think it would really help that much, to be honest. Sometimes these early access games just need to be, you know, uh, they need to be optimized. And that's just the way it is. Nothing's more annoying than go spending $1,000 on a brand new graphics card, going through all the headaches of putting it in a machine and not getting any kind of boost, like, you know, graphics-wise.
I'm on a 1070 to 30 FPS. Yeah, like normally I'm getting 60. Like right now I'm getting 60. Uh, but when I when I turn on the lights and it's nighttime and I'm ringing people up and there's a bunch of customers, it definitely goes down to 30. It still feels smooth at 30 though. It's weird. Like I'm seeing 30 30 FPS and I'm like, this feels a lot smoother than 30 FPS. So. I can't believe I ordered the wrong freaking thing. Or can I? Uh, you know what? We're probably gonna run out of stuff. Ah, uh, no, I need some of this stuff for sure. Okay, yeah, we need some of the cleaning products. Alright, so, white cleaner. I mean blue. I meant blue. Uh, shampoo and this stuff. All right. Anything else? Uh, we need blue. Uh, ugh, I'm letting that one go for now. Um, we need blue beer and blue pasta. Four. Four. Green beans. You know what? I think just a couple. Ah, no, we need that too. Shit. All right. Fine, fine, fine. Green beans. One, two. One, two. And then we need, um, whatever that stuff is. I think it's a ham. I think it's like a white box with ham. There we go. Four. And we need all the cereals. Which is going to be more than I can do there. So let's see if there's something else we need. Mm. Candy. Candy. Four. Then we need all the cereals. Two, two, two. And honey. Before that. Right, hopefully that'll be good. Oh, I should pay some bills, shouldn't I? There we go. I bought the wrong beer. Mother! Fudging! Fudge you, you fudging fudger. How come you didn't know what I wanted? Because I'm usually getting the kegs. Those seem to sell quicker. I don't want to play in the dark just because... Uh, I don't know if you were talking to me, but... I don't want to play in the dark just because I'm like doing you know a YouTube series. And I want people to be able to see. Ideally, you fire the stalkers, fill up the back room a few days, empty the shelves, revamp. Yeah, but you spend a hundred dollars every time you you bring in. A, you have to rehire them. And like, I I can't go a day without restockers, because like my front, the front of my store will be almost empty after one day now. Now they get like a hundred customers. What the hell? No. What? Oh, you can only put one of these on? I didn't even know that. I think you could put two of them on. Damn. 
You can't put down boxes now? That's not good. There's a new supermarket simulator game coming out soon. Is it that, like, that, that, like, um, fishy one? That's on consoles, or? Okay, so customer count increased? Yeah, well, this update, um, as your store level goes up, you'll get more and more customers. So I was getting about 56 customers before, and now I'm getting over 100. As soon as we're done bringing this stuff in, we'll go bring some more people up. Tiffany Bade? Thank you for the super chat. Had to pop in and say hi, uh, but can't stay. I'm bringing your uploads. I'm binging your uploads on this game. I'm on episode 28 and don't want spoilers. Lol. Watching at 1.5 speed. Well, thank you very much. It's very kind of you, and I'm glad you're enjoying the series. you got a lot to catch up on. This is episode 41 right here. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. When I, I I guess you watched today's episode, uh, I was wondering why my negatives were so high, and I was like, well, double the customers, double the negatives. So, yeah, I thought about it when I was editing. Matt Season, thank you for the gift membership. All right. Museum Grack Heads, thank you for the super chat. Um, membership uh, means you can use uh, my emotes. You'll also have a little K by your name. You'll get into the special Cage Crew areas of Discord. Um, there's like 24-7 uh, servers that we have running. I'm not sure which ones we have up just now. But um, I think they just started up a 7 Days to Die one. Not too recently ago. Cage, is that a cat on the black soda? I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me go check the fridge. Kind of looks like it, don't it? Are we a raccoon? Seven Days to Die server, Minecraft, and Myth of Empires. Yeah, there you go. Mm. 
Okay. That's probably going to be okay. Let's open up. Stuff looks pretty stocked back here. We do need blue rice. But I'm going to let it go for now. We also need that kind of, that like green beer up there. What happened to MOE multiplayer? Uh, Myth of Empires has some I issues. And the one that killed me was I can't use game capture. I have to use display capture. And I don't like using display capture. So um, also not many people were watching it. If more people watched it, I could have used display capture. But it's like if nobody's watching it anyway, it's not worth Display capture makes things so much harder. You don't even know. Just a pain. Yep. We're going to need a bigger storage room. Line one's open, people. Line one is open. I guess they changed the look of the um, green tea boxes as well. I never had a problem telling the difference, but I know other people did. Can you leave stuff in front of the storage room? Yeah, but you don't want to. And the um, your guys won't stock it if you leave. They have to, like stuff has to be on shelves in order for you guys to stock it. Well, I'm glad you guys thought of Jaws, because that's what I was thinking of, too. What's up? How's it going? Uh, exact change. Have a good day. Mm. I'm definitely going to need blue rice. Hold on, I'm coming. How's it going, pal? All right, milk, vodka, potato chips. Very good. One thirty-seven fifty. Have a nice day. I just keep thinking I'm not even supposed to be here today. Is that what you meant, or I'm not meant to be here today? I think it was I'm not supposed to be here today. I could be wrong though. Did you know the alternate ending in, in Clerks was he was going to get shot? Someone was going to come in and like rob the place and kill him? What's up, Psycho Sid? Looking good, buddy. All right. I like what I'm seeing. 231. Psycho Sid's always dropping money. I appreciate that. Oops. You know what? Have the extra quarter. Or 75 cents or whatever it was. All right. There you go. 74.50. Have a nice day. Hey, how's it going? You look you you look like you've been through the shit. Oh, bunch of dogs at home, I see. Okay. Have a nice day. What's up? Psycho Sid. Hey Psycho Sid, if you were anyone else, I'd freaking slap you. But I'm not going to slap Psycho Sid because I don't have a death sentence. <sighs> I'm going to let one more person get away with it. The next person is going to be in a world of hurt. Alright. Looking good. 201. Have a good day. Hey, very good. Hey, Psycho Sid's back. Yo, Psycho Sid. He's like, I forgot the beer. I forgot the books. And I forgot the milk and my cereal. You sure did, buddy. You sure did. 262, 75. And he spent almost 500. I think he spent, he's coming up on $500 today. Uh, 22. Let's see. 25. Have a good day. What's up there, buddy? 67. Have a good one. 
He's coming back for a refund? I'm not gonna tell him now. I'll have someone else tell him. Uh, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8, 50. Have it going. Oh, there's that wonderful, sweet, sweet lag. Wait, what? Oh, it's 50 cents. There you go. Have a nice day. Dog food, cat food, poop paper. All right, cool. 125. Have a good day. What's up, Tara? Oh, two Taras. Just wearing different clothes. 206. 25. Have a good day. All right. 14 bucks. Have a nice day. Let's go, man. This guy wins the the award for best dressed person in the store. Have a nice day. One seventy eight. Have a good day, Terry. You're back. More booze, huh? Must be a rough day. Have it going. Hey, how's it going? Uh, $39. Have a good day. What's up, my man? All right. $125.50. Have a good day. You don't think the guys with tuxedos are better dressed? No. No. Not at all. Five, six, seven, twenty-five. Have a nice day. Seventy-seven fifty. Have a good day. What's up, buddy? And thirty-four, twenty, thirty, one, two, three, four. Have a good one. Come on, come on, ring him up faster. One fifteen fifty. Have a good day. Oh, somebody's hungry for lasagna. Have a good one. That guy in the white should be named Dapper Dan. Okay. I'll try and remember that. Uh, 1825. Have a nice day. Okay. Uh, 2925. 925. Have a good day. They still haven't fixed the redhead's hair. The, one, the lady who looks like this, but she's got red hair. All right, 9 o'clock. What's up, man? This guy's like a principal, right? He's a principal at the local school. And he's hungry. Have it going. What's up, my man? Uh, there you go. Have it going. Hey, hey what's up? How's it going? Uh, 149. Have a good day. Yeah, I like Dapper Dan. That's a good name. And 94, 25. Have a nice day. Yep, there's the, the lady with the messed up hair. I feel bad for her. She's like, please, developer, fix my hair. Have a nice day. I watch a lot of stuff like um, where people think like we're in it, we're living in an. Um, we're living in a like a matrix type thing, a system, and that lady's probably thinking that too. Like, she probably thinks she's real, but she's living in the she's living in the matrix, and her hair is all messed up. Feel bad for. Her. Have a nice day. We are finally over 10k from where you started the stream. Yes, yes, but when I started the stream, the back was empty. <laughs> Right, looking good. I do have a thing to go for tomorrow, right? Uh, kind of. What's in there? Uh, rice, blue rice. Okay. What else do we need? Uh, we need bleach. 
bleach. We'll get three of those and two of those. Okay, I will be right back. I'm just looking around my room down here because I'm thinking I need a mini fridge, but I don't know where I want to put it. Oh boy. All right, guys, how many negatives do you think we got today? I'm going to go with 16. 16. Yes, there is an update. Uh, the developer made it so you will get more customers depending on your store level. This might be way too much, Cage. Watching your stream while watching part 40 on YouTube while playing the game. Nah, sounds about right. I think you're doing it right. All right, I'm saying 16. Oh, so close. All right, who was the first person to say 18? Marissa! Good job, Marissa. And I made $11,000. I My profit was 6800 Oh, can someone write this down for me? I won't share book, prosciutto, and whatever, the, whatever that other stuff was. Five. Shooto. Seven twenty-five. Oh, was someone else first? Did I mess up? Um, on my screen it says Marissa was first. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys said it almost the same time. I don't know. All right. Did anyone write that down for me? I hope. <laughs> Was sandwich bread one of them? It looks like it was. 275. What was the other one? Yeah, a lot of times we don't see, like, chat in the same order, which is kind of annoying. Cake was a cake. Yeah, co-winners. You're all winners. You're all winners in my book. Mm, sure was cake. Let's take a look just to make sure. So, prosciutto, yes. What was the other thing? Um, cake, yes. Uh, bread, yes. And whatever the first thing I did was, yeah, it wasn't any of that. Okay, great. We're good. Miser, shut up. Shut up, you face. Miser's like, it's always coffee. It's always coffee. I'm Miser. I, I, I'm i playing. Uh, no one survived. And, and, what else are you playing? What are you, what are you playing right now, Miser? Mm. 
When will you play Sunken Land again? Um, when people watch the videos. <laughs> I need people to watch them more, you know? Like, doesn't seem like Sunken Land's got a lot of hype going on with it right now. Oh, yeah, the forest. That's right. Did you, did you, did you die again in episode two, or? You need to watch some KJ48 videos, get some tips. That way you won't die. Mad Season, thank you for the super chat. Mighty Miser. Uh, yeah, we probably need some of that sugar. Give me one second, I'm gonna put my heating pad on. I did, that's why I died. Yeah, right. Sure, miser. Tell you what, I have the secret. I know what's going on. Uh, actually, I wonder how this will work. Okay, I have the secret miser. I know why. I know why you die. I know why you die in in the forest. You know why you die? Skill issue. <laughs> I wish I could use that when I happen to join a Discord freaking channel. Why do I have to join a Discord channel to use that? <laughs> it kind of ruined it because you can hear me join the channel. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else, what else, what else? Ships. I'm gonna order three of these because I seem to be ordering them a lot. Well, maybe I won't. <laughs> Get the G G Goxler uh, or Steam Deck and then you can. Yeah. Watch me from the Philippines, nice. I love Sunken Land. I love it too. I just need people to watch me play it. Hey, Cameron, you got a, like a a link to those things that you could send me? Which one? Which one do you think I should get? Are we good? Eh, mm, no, not really. Chicken and french fries. Oh, I have a blue Yeti. I don't know if it's compatible with that. Of these last time, I'm gonna need beer. 
Oh, what kind of beer is that? It's not the BK one. Beer. It is this one right here. I'm going to get... You know what? I'm just going to get 10 of these. They've been out for a while. They're probably going to have to bring a lot up front. That's right. I never break my legs. What are you guys talking about? Don't be talking foolishness. Uh, muscle milk and those two colorful drinks. Soda. One, two. One, two. Uh, let's get the blue labeled water. Uh, re... Revivid? I'm not sure how to say that name. Newt? Um, or revived. <laughs> uh, thank you for the super chat. No message, just want to send support. I'm actually addicted to this game because of you. Um, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Okay, so revived. Um, Newt. Isn't that like from Alien 3 or something? Is that an Alien 3 reference in your name? Yeah, the sushi costs a lot of money. I thought, I thought, yeah, but like, if they're saying revive Newt, I think they're referring to what happened to Newt in the beginning of Aliens 3. Alien 3. Just sent you a DM with the Go Go XLR. Had to mute the stream for a moment uh, to answer a phone call, though. Okay, yeah, that's cool, man. Thank you. All right, the new update. Um, basically, the big part of the new update is as you um, level your store, you'll get more customers per day. So I went from getting about 50-something customers per day to over 100 and I doubled my, my um, income as well. Max Payne, thank you for the super chat. He sent me $10 Californian money. I love it. As much as I love the Aliens fran franchise, my name is based off of Mon Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I've only seen Mon Monty Python once it was in school, and I don't remember anything about it. I do remember that, like, that... That knight, the black knight with no arms or legs, like, and he still wanted to fight, but that's about it. I can see California breaking off and, like, forming its own country sometime. And then we'll have Californian money. Yeah, Texas wants a breakaway. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the max for me was around 56. Um, I would sometimes get more than 56, but for the most part, I was getting 56 customers per day. And now I get over 100. It wasn't like that before. I mean, it might have been in the very beginning of the game, but you'd definitely max out in the 50s. If your employees keep replenishing the products, that means the product at the back or the end of the shelf are super expired. Nothing expires in the game. He better be careful making stuff expire, too. Like, <laughs> it's got to be, like, a, um, a fun way to deal with it. Because if it's tedious... Oof. Alien 3 did Newt and Hicks dirty. Yeah, that's what I heard. I mean, I, I haven't seen Alien 3, but I've listened to podcasts about it and stuff. And watched videos of people talking about it. And yeah, it was like, it was pretty messed up. It was kind of like what they did to Scott Summers 
and um, Charles Xavier in X Men: The Last Stand. Just watching your latest video, I have a great idea on how ordering can be done so much easier. Going to see if I can find a way to message the devs. Yeah, man, go, go on. Uh, I'm pretty sure they had like a suggestion thing on their Discord, so. What's new? Haven't watched the last few videos or streams. Start was starting to get bored of watching people stock shelves the whole video. Well, this might bore you as well too, man. I'm sorry, but uh, they did do an update though, so you make more money faster now. Without a person who bring in products from the street, expired food items would be uh, too much. Two hours to prep a store for eight minutes of actual play. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got he's to do something. He knows he's got to do something about this. It's a, I'm sure he's aware of this. He's probably working on it as we speak. Multiplayer would be pretty dope. Not going to lie. Planetcraft is getting multiplayer next month. Maybe we'll do some uh, Cage Crew stuff with Planetcrafter. Do you know if they have a plan about making storage room bigger? Oh, I, I hope so. I really hope so because the storage room is painfully inadequate. You know what's funny? I have a Planet Crafter episode that I recorded like a few weeks ago and I was going to put it up, but then this game got super hot and the Sons of the Forest got super hot, so I don't have any room like to put it up. So I still got that Planet Crafter episode ready to go. If I can't put it up within a couple weeks, I might just put it up as an extra bonus video or something. All right. Uh, we need wine, blue and green cheese. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Blue and green. I'm going to get, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get like three of these, three of these, and then I'm just going to do the cheeses in fives. Uh, that all looks pretty good. Uh, we need dog and blue cat food. And blue coffee. And then more blue coffee. And chocolate cereal. Apple juice. Oh, goodness. Uh, hot sauce, mayo. And I think that might be good. We're going to run out. I mean, we won't run out of it, but we're going to run out of some stuff back here. No, that should be pretty good. Um, and we still need three of the bleach. Damn it. So that means i got to finish that off. All right. Uh, let's do two of each of the toilet paper. And three, three sandwich bread. Oh my god, I'm out of all the bread too. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna get whatever bread I can. Like, I'm never gonna get out there and open the store. Matthew, thank you for the super chat. Can I get a quick tour of the store? Um, yeah, sure. Let me do it now before I forget. So you come in here, here's all the registers. This is my um uh breakfast style. It's got bread, cereal, um, coffee, tea, 
um, coffee coffee cakes. Right here we got baking needs um, as well as things like pasta, uh, condiments, rice. Over here we have some um, just some you know basic uh, microwavable meals. Right here we have ham and pr prosciutto, um, hummus and tuna. Here's our alcohol section. Uh, this is meat. This is um, sushi and salmon. This is more microwavable dinners. Uh, we've got um, eggs, milk, all our cheeses, yogurt, butter, all our drinks, and then our freezer stuff in the middle. And then over here we've got all our cleaning. Uh, sorry, no cleaning products are over here. Over here are all our books. Right here we have um, animal food as well as potato chips and candy, chocolate, peanut butter, and honey. And then right here we have muscle milk, uh, mashed potatoes, regular potatoes, toilet paper. David Bowman, thank you very much for the super chat. What's up, man? Glad I finally caught a live stream. I've been watching your supermarket vids and been loving them. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. Do I think this game is worth the money? Yes. Absolutely. I've got well over 110 hours now in it. Well over. I've got more hours in this game than I have in it Shrouded. You love the game the way it is without mods, huh? Eh, I'd have to disagree with you on that one. I, I, if I wasn't, like, so annoyed with the, you know, Nexus mod. I don't like Nexus mod. I don't like dealing with it. Um, I would really love to have some mods. I think some of them might be a little too much, but I think some of them are really good. I saw one. I saw one mod that when you go into order stuff, they could come into order stuff, and it would tell you the amount, and then it would tell you in parentheses how many you have in your shelves. Uh, you got to save up money. Yeah, I mean, if you got to save up money, and uh, twelve dollars is a lot to you. Um, yeah, I mean, I if you like sim games, I think it's one of the best ones out there. So take that for what you will. If you got to save up, watch my videos while you're saving up. Then you can see for yourself if you're gonna like it. Uh, from what I understand, the developer said he has no plans to bring this to console right now. Uh, what's in the update? The main part of the update, for me personally, is as your store levels, you'll get more customers. Before um, I started streaming, or before this update, I would usually get about around 55, 56 customers a day. Now I'm getting well over 100. I'm making double the amount of money per day. But he still has a problem with, like, ordering and bringing stuff in. Like, this needs to be streamlined somehow. Also, you can, um, you could close your registers now. So you don't have to, like, pick them up or anything. Yeah, but don't you need, like, I heard you need to sign in the Nexus mod to even get the mods. Yeah, the cashier's leveling up and being faster would be pretty neat. How about instead of being faster, uh, you can choose what they're good at. So maybe you could choose you want them faster, or you can choose to have them schmooze the customers. And then get more customers to come in, or maybe get the customers to buy more stuff. Yep, buying sushi has broken my bank account in the past as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already have a Nexus, a Nexus account too, but now I'm going to have to go in and like find the password somewhere. Hope I find it. If I can't, then I'm going to have to be a reset the password. Then it's gonna like say, oh, we don't recognize the email address, and I gotta guess the email address. It's just it's too much of a hassle. The shit needs to just be on there, and I shouldn't have to be doing any kind of stupid like signing up. <laughs> I am cleaning the sidewalk. 
hope you're wrong about this not coming to console. I mean, I'm not wrong. He That's what he said. But that doesn't mean it's not going to come to console. It just simply means they don't have any plans right now to bring it to console. I mean, just me personally, and I don't know, I don't know anything. I'm just a YouTuber. But I'd be shocked if it didn't go to console. Like, I don't know what he would have to do to get it to console. But, man, like, bring it to console. This game would be great on the Switch or something. It's like I was looking at this game earlier today. I want to play it, and it's it's not on Steam. And then I went to check if it's ever going to be on Steam because I played the game forever ago. And um, it said, I'm, ne I'm probably never going to bring it to Steam. And part of the reason is he doesn't want to pay the Steam, you know, 30% or whatever. And he doesn't like some of the things Steam does or whatever. And it's just like, just bring the game to Steam, dude. Matthew, thank you for the super chat. Stalkers should be bringing the stuff inside. Yeah, I agree. If you guys have any ideas about what you what you'd like to see in the game, just definitely go join the Discord. You know, like you know, if you um, I think th I think there's a suggestion thing you could put in there, and if. If the dev likes your suggestions, maybe we'll use them. Well, I'm paying them to uh, bring stuff from in here in, over to here. They're not useless. They're definitely helpful, but it's just, um, yeah. Matthew's really mad about these stalkers. <laughs> He's like, Dude, have your job. Get to work. If stalkers don't bring the stuff in, maybe you, you we could pay for deluxe delivery when ordering stuff, um, bring it to the shelves. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I don't care who does it or what, what it costs, but someone needs to do it besides me. I don't even mind helping them. Like, they should be helping me. Like, you know, I, I, would, do, I would do it, but it just wouldn't take forever because they would be helping me. All right, are we good? I think we're probably pretty good. Yeah, it's looking okay. Good enough. Let's do it. Open! All right, stalkers, you're going to have something to do now. Matthew's sick, sick of watching you do nothing. Matthew's had enough. Have you talked about the idea of self-checkout? Is I believe self-checkout, I saw it somewhere. It might have been on the... um. The loading screen of the game, like the splash screen. I could have swore I saw something like, like self-checkout coming at some point. So, How much time is spent running from street and store uh, off stream? Well, you get an idea because you're seeing it all right now. Like, I cut most of it out. You'll see me stacking boxes sometime on video, but most of the time I'm uh, either ordering or working the register. Thank you, Gavin. Uh, new in the update is um, uh, as your store levels, you'll get more customers. So I basically doubled my customers and my income per day. I figured you, you would have way more money by now. You must have just made a big order. Well, if you think about it, like, okay, think about it like this. Let's say a day is eight minutes, okay? So a day is eight minutes. And let's say I'm just going to round numbers here for you. Let's say a day is eight minutes, you get 50 customers, and you make $5,000. Now, a day is eight minutes, you get 100 customers, and you make uh, $10,000. 
Now, all that stuff that was bought off of the shelves, you have to restock. So it's not so much that like it's going to be that much fast. It's going to save you the eight minutes from the second day because you're putting you're taking one day and you're making all that all that money and customers you would have gotten on the other day. You're making it all at once. So the stocking, everything, ringing people up, stocking, uh, everything you're doing is going to be exactly the same, except you're going to save eight minutes from the day, from the day, if that makes any sense. It's definitely faster. It's definitely faster. Like, no joke. All right. Have a good day. 60% profit roughly per stock. You think so? I don't know. I think it might be more than that. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Depends on what you sell, I guess. We need more information. No, I think it is more than that. 3375. Have a nice day. Because let's say if you look at T, that's almost 100% more. That's a, almost 100. No, that's over 100% profit. This right here, um, that's over 50% profit. Uh, let's just take a look at this. That's 100% profit. I don't know, dude. I don't think it's 60% profit. I think it's higher than that. Although there's no way to tell. I mean, unless you want to do the. The ridiculous math yourself, but I don't. Joanne, thank you for the super chat. Um, hi, Cage. Hoping your family are having a great day. Love from Singapore. Yeah, we're having a good day. Thank you for... Uh, we get some uh, likes for that super chat. It was very nice. I forgot you guys can like super chats. Thirty-two twenty-five. Have a good day. Uh, 775. Have a nice day. But $2 would not affect your overall price. If something costs $2 and you sell it for, for $4, then you're making 100% profit. It doesn't really matter if it's only $2 more. It's still a percentage. Like, it's the, the overall money doesn't matter. It's a percentage that matters. Have a nice day. Wait, hold on a sec. 209.75. Have a nice day. Okay. So if this is bought for $6... Uh, now let's do a, a different one. Let's do one that's not so good. Okay. So this is 50% profit, basically. If I, sell, if I buy something for $6 and I sell it for whatever, and then I get $3 profit, $3 on $6 is 50%. So if the profit here is 293 on 507 that's that's um it's a little over 50%. That's probably like 55 60% profit. And there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of stuff that sells for over 100% profit. I actually I don't think I have anything in here that's only 50% profit. Have a nice day. Let's go look around. I'm kind of curious. Hold on. $9. There we go. Let's go look around and see what the profits are like. All right. So if that's 135 and I sell it for 140, I'm making uh, the profit is 140. I'm making 100% profit on that. I sell I buy it for like 135. My profit's 140. That's 100% profit. Uh this is Look at that. That's that's like 200% profit. That's almost 100% profit. Uh, oh, that's over 100% profit. Over 100% profit. Actually, these profits are actually much better than I thought. 100% profit. Is there anything? I, it, it might be like over 100% total. That's 100%. That's that's oh, well over 100%. You only make 100% profit on stuff you get for free. No, that's, that's not how that works. If you buy something for a dollar and you sell it for $2, how much of a percentage did you make? How much of a percentage is that profit?
It doesn't matter if the lines are full. It doesn't affect the game at all, as far as I can tell. I could be wrong about that, but... It's not 50%. You made double. You made double your money. Have a nice day. Uh, 177.25. Have a nice day. <laughs> you can check out anytime you want, but you can never, but you can never leave. I love good, good reference. 235. Have a good day. I'm not mixing up anything. If you sell something for a dollar, okay, okay I, maybe I'm misspeaking. If you buy something, I'm misspeaking. Okay, this is my fault. Let's say you buy something for a dollar and you sell it for two dollars. Your profit is a is a dollar, which means you made a hundred percent. Right? Am I wrong about that? Am I missing something? You made double your money. Like you doubled your money. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I think I I get confused at math too, but I, I think I'm right. Have a nice day. Yeah, I was I was I was speaking incorrectly. You buy something for one dollar, it costs you one dollar. That's your that's your cost. If you sell it for if you sell it for two dollars, your profit's one dollar, and that's double what you paid for it. I, I'm not understanding what I'm missing here. Uh 209.50. Have a nice day. Thirty-four. Have a nice day. Uh, the way you say it is not really as phrased in business. One hundred percent profit means all the money that you get is all profit, no expenses. So you guys are talking about like what I, what it, what I, what I need to pay the electric bill and what I need to pay my cashiers. I'm not talking about any of that. That's overly complicated, and I'm not going to do the math on that. I'm just talking like what I'm, what I'm making here. Um, and I think those numbers are really small anyway. I only pay my. Uh, I think my stalkers and everyone, all my workers are about four or $500. And my electric, I think, is really small. It might still be like, I still think it's way over 60%. But I, I have no way of telling that because I'm not going to get that deep into it. I'm just talking like, forget expenses. You know, forget all that. Just what I paid for the item and what, you piece of crap. What I paid for the item and what I got back for the item is 100%. Forget electric, forget forget rent. <laughs> I, I know all that stuff matters, I get it. But Oh, poor red haired lady with her messed up hair. Uh 189, nice. There you go, have a nice day. Buying some for one dollar and selling it for two dollars is one hundred percent markup. 50% profit, not taking into account the bills and employee costs. I, I don't know how that's, I don't know how that's, um, fi that's 50% profit. Uh, 148, 75. 141. There you go. Hold on, I'm checking something on my phone. One second. Hold on. You know, why don't we just ask Google? I'm just going to ask Google. Google knows all. Uh, where are you, Google? There you are. If I buy something for $1, one, $1 and sell it for $2, what is the percentage of my profit? I guess that's the best way to say it. Yeah, it does say 50%. That's so weird. That doesn't make any sense to me. No. If you spend $1 and get $2 back, that's 50% profit margin. If you're able to create a product for $100 and sell it for $150, 
that's a profit of $50 and a profit margin of 33%. If you're able to sell the same product for $300, that's 66%. How is, how does that work? I, that doesn't make any sense to me. I'm getting 100% back of the money. Like, how does that... I feel like I'm missing something obvious, but that doesn't make any sense to me. How is, how is getting 100% of the money back a 50% profit? Okay, I, I think I get it now. I think I get it. If you start with a dollar and you end up with two dollars, you only have 50% more than you started with. Even though you have double the money. I guess that kind of makes sense. Like from an overall, like let's say it's 100%. Let's say that one dollar represents 100%. And then you give, and you give the 100% and then you end up with 200%, but it's really half of that. Yeah, okay. I guess I I guess that does that does make sense. Man, that's a that's a brain fuck right there, man. <laughs> All right. So maybe 60% profit is is about right then. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's uh how many negatives do you think we got today, guys? 18? Uh I'm going to go with I'm going to go with 14. So there's no way, if you're buying something, you can't get 100% profit. It's impossible. That's so weird. Okay, what did I say, 14? All right, let's go. Okay, uh, 11. Who said 11? I saw, I saw an 11 in there. Let's see who the first person to say it was. Um, Timothy! Timothy Bowling. Good job, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, guys. Can you write that down for me, please? Uh, salmon, cheese, and Big Tony pizza. Big Tony pizza. Let's go with nine. Eh, I kind of like 950. Salmon. Uh, that's over here. Nine dollars sounds good to me. And what was the other thing? Salmon, cheese. What was the cheese? Crap, I didn't see what the cheese was. That's okay. I think I could tell from in here. Yep, there we go. Mozzarella. Oh, I feel so stupid about that profit thing now. <laughs> it made so much sense in my brain. <laughs> Okay, uh, for let's go with four twenty-five. I'm gonna try and bring the prices down a, just a little bit. Still over markup, but see now that's bad. That's a that's a bad. What is that, guys? What what's the percentage on that? Wait, if I'm making if I spend okay if I spend three dollars let's 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 look at this. If I spend three dollars and then I sell it for four, twenty-five percent. Is that 25%? 0.25%. Oh, 20.25, which is 25%, right? Am I right at 25%? I'm just curious. It's 
thirty-six percent. Yeah, you're right. Too much braining. <laughs> I figured if I if I spent three, and I got back four, then yeah, thirty-six percent sounds about right. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? My brain hurts now. I think I'm done here. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. Don't forget, it's not too late to like the video. Uh, and liking it really helps. Also, this video will be up as part 41. So if you got here late and you want to see the entire episode, it will be up for you to view later. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for joining the Cage Crew. I will see you guys um, tomorrow. I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm going to go record the next episode now. Have a good night, everybody.